Hello, my name is Tracy Allen and I want to welcome you to Cooking with Some Friends. We're back with Cooking with Some Friends and April is putting together her lasagna that she's going to put in the freezer. And uh, she has a pound of ground beef that we browned. And we browned that with some olive oil and about a quarter of an onion. Mm -hmm. And then she added two tablespoons, basically, or two cloves of garlic. And you could add more if you like garlic, but. I like garlic a lot. Yeah. So I would probably add more, right. personally. Right, and then she added a quarter cup of beef broth. And when we were talking about, you could add red wine if you'd rather but we opted for the beef broth. And then she added some salt and pepper. Once that reduces down so that the liquid is mostly gone, she's going to add um, a 24 ounce jar of marinara. And again, you can use whatever marinara you like. We chose Classico for this one with some basil. So, reduced. Um, I mean, it's pretty good. For the most part, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna turn that down just a little. Okay, you can go ahead and add your marinara. You can just leave it spinning there. I'm almost just. I sometimes this. have to give it a whack on the counter. And then I usually splatter it all over myself as well. But we have aprons. Well, I'm not wearing white today, yeah. so <laughs> I'm not gonna splatter today. And she's going to also put in there a quarter of a teaspoon of thyme. Oops. We have our lasagna noodles over here waiting. Oh, I can leave that there. Yes, you can. Quarter of a teaspoon. Oh. You can just take a lid off if you want to. It doesn't matter. That pops off too. Sometimes I get it off really easily and other times it's like I can't get that thing off. We're using dry thyme. And she's going to put in a half a teaspoon of sugar just to give it a little bit of sweetness. Ooh. And that's already, that's oh. already measured. It is talking to me. That's steaming. <laughs> So that's a half a teaspoon of sugar. And then she's gonna add two tablespoons of chopped parsley. And you can use fresh or dried parsley. Two tablespoons. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah, don't let yourself get burned. See, I went to bragging yep. about not getting it on me <laughs> and then I got it all over me. And I'm gonna use the parsley that's already yeah, the dried instead of the fresh. Yeah. That way I don't have to try to uh, cut it. <laughs> that were me, it all come out at once. I know. It's close enough. Now we're going to stir that a little bit and make sure everything is in there. And then we're going to, it's already up to a simmer. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to let that cook for about five minutes just to get all those flavors to go together. And while that's doing that, April's going to go ahead and mix together her filling for her lasagna. And I'll get that out of the way and I'll stir while you create. So, I'm using ricotta. 15 ounces of ricotta cheese. And we were talking about the fact that some people don't like ricotta only in their lasagna, and some people. A little don't, grainy if it's yeah. just ricotta. And some people don't like cottage cheese only, so we're getting the best of both worlds. Um, and you're going to need about three fourths of this because it calls for 16 ounces. Okay. She needs 
one egg. One egg. One boneless, skinless chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so I saw that somewhere. I said the true whole boneless, chi skinless chicken. Uh, okay. I uh, was walking down the hall talking about making eggs and a, what a younger student said something about the egg and um, was discussing apparently with their parent about how they didn't realize that that's what chickens actually came from I'm and so kidding. I made a joke about um, you know, if you ever make an egg and you bite into it and it's crunchy, then you know that it, you actually had eaten a chick. And I mortified that girl. <laughs> and I was like, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I promise I'm just kidding. But I think she took me literally. So sorry. Okay. Now, she's also going to put in there, they're so gullible at certain ages. Um, she's going to put in there oh, about a cup of mozzarella. And you can... I cheat when I measure my mozzarella. My I handful know. is roughly a cup. Works yeah, for I did me. It too. Now, the other thing I was going to ask you, when I make lasagna, I put mozzarella in it. But I also like to put a little bit of Parmesan in it. Oh yeah. Just to add a little more flavor. Definitely. Um, so anywhere to a quarter to a half a cup. There you go. And that's just grated mozzarella, or Parmesan. Mmm, can smell it. Now we have more cheese to add to that, but that goes in our layers. Okay? okay. So now we're ready to start assembling. All right, the meat sauce is made that uh, we put the marinara and everything in and it, it smells really good. Yeah. Um, April's going to put about half of that into her sprayed pan and we're doing throwaway pans because we're gonna take this and put it in the freezer and- And throw it away when we're done. Yes, throw it away when we're done, clean up so much easier. And you don't have to go, where is my baking dish? Mm -hmm. So um, she's gonna put about, like I said, about half of that in there. Attention when I started, close but enough, probably. figure I'm covering yep. the bottom of the pan yep. at least and yeah, get a nice layer on there. Okay, okay, and then she's going to add three noodles. Three noodles. Steak. And then about a third cup of her meat sauce. Keep those noodles from getting overly sticky. You're good. You decided not to even measure. I know. Well, I did a, I did a look. Oh. I was like, mm, yeah, looks about right. Fully believe that if I mess it up, it's not going to hurt too much. No. I'm thinking nobody's going to see that and go, oh, that wasn't quite a third of a cup. Okay, then she's gonna put a cup of mozzarella over it. I'm gonna do my measuring. Handful. Yeah. I don't think you can get too much weak. cheese really on most things like this. And we're gonna go a pinch. Okay. And then she's going to add half of that wonderful filling she just made with all the ricotta all the and cottage cheese. All and, the good stuff. Yes. And the added. Parmesan that wasn't in the recipe, but we like it anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try not to drop it. Do you serve certain things with your lasagna, or do you just like just the lasagna? Um. It just kind of depends. I like um, oh breadsticks or cheese sticks or something with it. But I mean, every now and then a good salad. Um, kind of depends on soup. I mean, it would have to be something. I'm not. It depends on the night when you get home from work too. If yeah. What's in store? 
Okay, over that, she's going to go ahead and add three more of her noodles. I've seen lasagna made with uncooked noodles before. They have the oven-ready ones, but I don't like them as well. I, some, they're easier, definitely. And another third cup of her sauce. I'm always babbling. <laughs> Good enough to me. I used to, when I would make one batch of lasagna, I would just make two while I was at it. Mm -hmm. So one would go in the freezer and we'd have one for supper that night. But we're having fried lasagna tonight, so. Okay, then she's going to add another cup of cheese. I'm gonna open this one just in case we need it. Because I have a feeling we're going to. We're probably going to. That's pretty much all of it. And then her other half of her filling. I like to scoop the bowl all the way <laughs> Get clean, every last get every drop. Every little bit. <laughs> because my dad would not let me leave the Waste table. not, want not. Yes. Looks really creamy, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay. So then all she has left to do, all she has left to do is put her three noodles on top that she has left. Almost too long. Now, if we were baking this tonight, we would go ahead and preheat the oven to 375 and um, cover this and because we're going to cover it anyway um, but leave it covered if you're taking it out of the freezer go ahead and dump your meat, the rest of your sauce on it um, we would leave it covered and bake it at 375 for about 45 minutes then take that foil off or the cover off and just broil it to get that cheese to brown up a little bit and finish melting um, and then normally you would leave it set out of the oven just a few minutes, actually up to half an hour, depending on if you're busy, what you're, what's going on, um, so that all those things have a chance to set and not be so runny. Okay. And she does that. Do you, I like to tuck the noodles in at the edges so they don't get, um, oops. Get or hard. maybe you like them that way. Some people do, they like them kind of crunchy on the edges. I don't know. I think it just kind of depends on what mood I'm in. <laughs> it's kind of like a brownie. Yeah. You know, sometimes you want the crunchy no. corner piece and sometimes you want to cut the center out. I, I always do that. We just <laughs> talked, okay, this, and then she's gonna cover with about a cup of more of mozzarella. Now, we, this is kind of morbid. Ron and I talked about that, my husband and I. I eat the center out of brownies and cinnamon rolls and all that. I figure if I make them, I can have the centerpiece. Um, but we went through the cemetery the other day, and we were talking about we should probably pick out plots and all that. And I told him I wanted to do it right in the center where there was nobody else around me yet. <laughs> and that way my kids would know where to find me because I'd be right in the center. I won't be there, but the stone would be there. Okay, so we're gonna cover this with foil. Oh, it looks good. Um, cover it with foil, and April's gonna take it and put it in her freezer, and then again, like I said, when she's ready for it, she can pop it out of the freezer, let it thaw out, put it in her oven at 375, and bake away. Which will probably be sometime in the next week. Yep. Because we're super busy. Yes, <laughs> sounds good. Thanks for joining us for this session of Cooking with Some Friends. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
and find us on Facebook at Cooking with Some Friends.